Hey guys, welcome back to another morning update. Hopefully everyone's well. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it with yesterday's review and see what ended up happening. Uh, like always, I always give both sides of every coin to see what I want to expect. We ended up seeing the downside option uh, play out to uh, varying success. Uh, well, depending. So here yeah, from uh, the one hour candle, you see we pushed up, came in, closed. Uh, had a nice even close and this is what you call a clean close and, and what I've been calling a clean close you can call it whatever you want so you can understand when bodies are very nice together or slightly the slight variations you know they're an interest of either keeping volume and people trapped uh, underneath or no trapped above rather in this instance and keep pushing price underneath as they want to short on average on this level the wicks are just to take out stops and trap out traders pretty much so from the hour on, on the monday we just push down and we push down running out on all these stops here leveling out here and again four hours worth of closing here 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 and as you can see boom wicks just pulling down taking out these stops and finally pulling up and from new york open Again, New York was closed yesterday. They are open today. Coming back into the daily imbalance for one more wick. And coming into your bearish order lock here. Or your fair value gap rather. In this instance. Pulling in and then rejecting. This was a perfect short. We caught on the stream. Then it push, pushed up. Nice flip. So then we see this instant push back up into the midpoint. And push down past the midpoint and then push back into this midpoint here again so we might continue this until we level out into a support so we see where we're looking to end and what rather what price we're looking to end so this is your monthly uh range what the fibs derived from i think too complicated it's just the start uh the first two weeks of the month from this point to this point your highest and lowest point everything else is just is just within like always we always grab two uh 250 to 500 just outside a range just because that's uh our typical sort of casual i think casual about it but our uh typical sort of stop hunt so Grab the price marker, draw out 250. No, we draw a five. Let's in this instance draw out 500 actually. Just because I, I I already feel like 250, especially on the these higher time frames, so won't really do do this justice. So they might go for 500 to a thousand. So we can mark that out, especially on the higher time frames and. On the uh, larger ranges, there we go. A stop hunt level 500 to 1000, and we have 250 halfway through. So we can have stops at 500, enter in between here, or stops at 1000, and enter in from a stop hunt here. Let's also enter on other ideas such as order blocks, as there is a order block based here. As you can see, it comes in the 1000 level pretty much. Checking that, yeah, comes in at the thousand level pretty much. So we might see the thousand level stop hunt, or there are about so we'll pretty much cover uh, in terms of four hour. We go back and, and look at the intraday and see, or or the lower time frames rather, and see what's happening. A lot of wicks, as you can see. As you can see, London's range is pretty much the size of uh, your imbalance. Uh, we're pretty controlled coming into London. Uh, pretty pretty uh, substantial in terms of if we break. Makes uh, London pretty important here. Makes it a pivot point. Uh, we typically want to, want to see this uh, push down, but we're already very low in terms of ranges, so I doubt we have that much space in terms of to push down. So you're looking for a price to... 
uh, ideally uh, stop, hunt down, and then find itself back in, back in either London range or back in here uh, by New York. Try and create a nice V bottom, and you want to you want this typically. But if uh, New York ends up closing out lower, and then you want to see this for the for a bottom structure, and we see the opposite coming place. So this tells me Tuesday might be a nice update whereas we might get wicks coming into lower levels and we see you are using our trend spider chart see what's happening and what level we're looking for this thing is finally pushing down and like always push down rejection then we get lower Go ahead and say what the weekly range is, or uh, well, we don't have a weekly range just yet, but we, it is forming. Again, for those of you who don't know, weekly range is just derived from the Monday and Tuesday high and low. So we just, because we already have the highest point on Monday, yeah. And the lowest point on Monday, which comes in at here. So right now, this is our weekly range, or Monday high, Monday low. So... We want to wait for, and I, I take the EST time, I don't, I don't really like taking UTC. If I was to take UTC, uh, it would come in here, so we would already be outside. And we would still come in here for the high. So let's label this for people. So we just wait for Tuesday to fill out, then we can get a weekly range and we can get a clear picture and understanding of uh, where we'd like to be in if we're just ranging. So we can already grab this and then say, okay, we've already violated those by how much? Well, by just 420, keeping it just under the 500 in terms of a casual, like I say casual is still the right word, but it's the word I'm choosing. Uh, 500 stops. So there we go. Well, there's a stop. Anything below, we see potentially see a bit lower. Uh, potentially some see something else coming in from the Monday low. So let's jump into uh, jump into and spider. As you can see, Bitcoin is just falling down when you wanted it close all the way at three uh, three two hundred ends up pushing down and closing at just below uh 37 here next support level comes in on the daily at 33 750 so we see what ends up happening if we push down to the support level if we run out of the stops on uh at three six uh 250 so these ones here let's actually that there we go three six two fifty uh, we'll, we'll definitely consider seeing uh, the 35,750 mark. Uh, so that's something you want to pay attention to. So we can go ahead and actually. Uh, as support. I guess. And they're not really even out. But you got stops here and here placed. Uh, so you're going to come in slightly higher. And we've already got our stops coming in slightly higher. Uh, if this ends up pushing out and taking out both these stops, we we'll see a cascade and we'll see a cascade down to these lower levels, which ends up filling out this objective of uh, this order block here. So definitely something to consider as a potential on the daily, and was the ultimate level we're trading at. We ended up invalidating this as an order block, so we can get rid of this. As you can see, we went uh, past the lowest point of the candle. Uh, so then we look for the next point for accumulating uh, as you can see there was a small bounce and we ended up getting that ends up pushing out and again filling out the imbalance then pushing down like i said on uh on yesterday's morning video it's just if the first session uh, if the first half of the day is up and uh we usually typically tend to go down after the fact so if you look at that here uh it doesn't want to show uh something do something. 
Where's this ray? Do, 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 don't even know why it's a ray. Go. Highlight it. I mean, it's for hour. There we go. Uh, so, I strap on the first. I mean, it was a whipsaw day, uh, pretty much. Uh, but again, you you saw a push up, so essentially you saw a M pattern up, down, midpoint was there, down. So we might get a nice push up from there, and this is why when you typically push up into a uh, into one of these dojis just to fill in the candle, especially if you look at the day, it just for me this is just uh, I I what would I call this? A bar finish an inefficiency fill yeah let's just call it an, an inefficiency fill oh, as hard as it is for me to say that <laughs> uh so it's an inefficiency fill uh then it went down and pushed down uh much lower ends up might coming in and, and leveling out as a support but I, I would wait for the uh for everything to develop out uh uh standing and then we can probably get that because again it pushed back into this uh into this point here back into the midpoint of uh, of your m uh like here we could potentially go down further and unless this ends up becoming our support but in terms of anything i mean it, uh typically you're looking for maybe something uh like it's slightly shallow uh but if we end up pulling out and then just creating a higher low uh like this uh we could definitely see something uh like that so this video has been about 11 minutes to uh just do uh one coin uh atom uh atoms fall falling pretty far i see one two perfect dca level uh pretty much if bitcoin holds uh the current support it's at uh definitely look it look for it and uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the ones uh that make this messy and one as well i think oh, yeah, there we go uh yeah we finally got the one we wanted uh which is this 23.35 level which we have been looking for since the 30th of gen uh as a full uh on uh entry uh definitely a, a risk on entry for me uh uh you don't have to do it you don't have to be entering into this you can wait for potentially lower i mean i doubt you might get any lower uh but again it will depend on bitcoin uh clearly defined uh uh risk entry i mean you have this entire range to play with in terms of to invalidate it so play with it how you will because again there you go you got a three dollar dollar stop i mean we can definitely push this down but this exists here for a reason uh we push down and then maybe you can get you can play the ranges here but right now uh from here to here at the very least in terms of averaging in terms of good spot position definitely see something in worth of value here especially if we start to uh to have a uptick especially in bitcoin so and, and that that will probably extend itself to every every other altcoin. So you should look through them, see if they're at key supports. Again, the charts haven't changed for these coins in in a while. So either watch like yeah, two days ago this live stream or upper morning videos. But the levels have always been printed. Uh, we look at uh dot just for a example. There we go. Uh, just coming back to a level that we were looking for uh as a lower level uh, nothing nothing too out of the ordinary nothing too uh atypical N not just falling out on a random number it's leveling out a, a number we're expecting so uh pretty much uh an easy catch as long as you're in, uh, waiting and sideline like you should be <laughs> uh so either wait for a higher low like always or oh, you'd want to wait uh you see confirmation on wednesday so either time of day or uh if you're a risk taker you just enter uh but yeah uh i'll leave that up to you uh, again we'll, we'll catch everything in terms of if we get confirmation in new york session uh and and if they're all tradable on the live stream so do join us there uh other than that have a lovely day people uh 
uh hope to see you uh on the live streams uh if not see you in the discord or see you whenever i see you next other than that have a lovely day uh guys and peace